Welcome back. Um, I am starting a little small series, hopefully very short videos, on uh, the different types of settings for uh, filaments. Um, I know there was a lot. Uh, there's a lot of problem with a few of them. In order to get them to work with the Mono Price Ultimate 3D printer, um, you know, when I was when I first got this printer, um, I was having a problem with some of these filaments and just finding the right settings. Um, I know there's some imports out there, but uh, it's a little confusing on how to import settings. Um, plus, um, if you're new to 3D printing, uh, sometimes that stuff's a little bit harder to do um, and understanding how the program works. So if I just do a screen share of all the different um, settings um, to enable this filament to work, it may be a lot easier to, um, uh, to start printing with these filaments. So uh, it's going to be very, very short. Uh, just going to go through uh, the screenshots, uh, not really going to go through each settings. That's why I made the basic, uh, very basic settings earlier. Um, but um, uh, usually I'll, I'm going to try to uh, talk about what tab I'm on and where that's at. And um, uh, hopefully these videos will be helpful. Um, so the one that I am going to be going over today will be uh, TPU. Now, in order to get these settings that I use in Simplify 3D for TPU to work, you will have to do the two mods that um, I have um, uh, done previous to the printer. Now, uh, ever since I've done these two mods, I have not had an issue printing with TPU. Uh, so, if you'll look in the description below, I'll link the two mod, two video mods that uh, um, I did. So, here we go. So of course, you know, you've got your, your process, and that's the main thing that we're going to be uh, looking through. Um, I went over a little bit of how I did the settings in an earlier video, um, but let's go over to the TPU, my TPU settings, and here we go. So um, right now we're on the extruder tab, um, and uh, if you'll just take note of um, all of my settings here, uh, we'll try to pause for just a few seconds. Um, and of course you can always pause the video now we'll be going to the layer tab this is the one of the important ones you know some of these settings can be adjustable but this will be a good base for you to get started with um, now we're going to go to the addition tabs tab same thing here um, you don't necessarily have to use these but uh, like I said I, in my older video I usually use the skirts of course infill settings um, the infill percentage can always be adjusted here support tab um, once again majority of these settings can be adjusted temperature tab um, so this is where uh, some people will say lower temperatures or higher temperature will work this is what works for me uh, he did build plate 60 primary extruder 220 cooling this is what I use a uh, zero at one Layer 1 and 100% at 2. Not nothing that I've adjusted on G code, but this is what I've got. Scripts. Of course, I have to edit the starting script and the ending script. Um, I have not put anything in these three middle ones. Other. Default printing speed is the main one, 30 millimeters per second. The rest of them are pretty much default. Advanced, uh, the main ones to uh, uh, look at is the 
ooze control behavior and movement behavior. So one more quick look. Extruder is the main one you need to change. First layer settings on here is a main one, a main part that needs to be adjusted. Uh, temperature, we talked about them. There are some main ones that need to be adjusted. And the other tab, printing speed, is the main one that needs to be just, uh, adjusted. So there we go. There are my TPU settings um, as long as you are using the two uh, mods that I have in previous videos. Thank you.